Hey there, boys and girls of the YouTube world. Today, I did probably the dumbest thing that I've ever done. Did one of those Pinterest things. Made a tailgate bench. I absolutely despise these things for several reasons. They're uncomfortable. They're a waste of a good tailgate. Nobody ever uses them. They're heavy. And so on and so forth. But finally, one of my friend's wives was like, Yeah, will you make Ted Longfellow? Tailgate bench for his birthday. Ted's a good guy. Mrs. Longfellow, she's all right as well. Here we are. At least it wasn't a waste of a good tailgate. Just your standard 9906 Chevy with a big old whammy right in the middle. So, dug out back in the uh, scrap wood pile. Dug up some 2x4s. A couple of, I don't know. One by six tongue and grooves. Got a few torque screws. And a couple of floor joist hangers. That's what I used. So like I said, these things are uncomfortable. It's all get up. So what I did is I took the old Mike Hastings 500 pound weight capacity chair, the most comfortable thing in the world that I found on the curb for free. And I sat where I thought was comfortable. I measured from about here to the floor and here to the floor. And uh, I got about 19 inches up at my kneecap, 16 inches at my butt crack. So that's kind of what I figured for the angle of a fedangle on this. And I measured where my arm sat. That was about 27 inches. And I started cutting. So I cut these two front posts 27 inches. And then I cut, uh, oh, it's about 18 inches from my knee to my butt crack. So then I cut a couple of 18 inches, screwed those together at the right angle so that they got a three inch drop in 18 inches. Set that all up. These had to be 62 inches wide. Your mileage may vary depending on your tailgate width. That just happens to be the width on a 9906 GM tailgate. Cut uh, one, two, three, four, five of those. And then I used the floor jack, propped it up, got it set in level, and then I cut these backboards. I don't know, they must be a little bit taller than the 27 inches that these are because I ran them at an angle to give a little stability wise, you know? So when you're leaning back, you don't go over backwards. Screwed those on there, and then I cut a couple boards here on the side that go underneath of these. Oh, you're gonna make an appearance. Tied them all together, cut these armrests 32 inches long, just winged it. Turned out to be the perfect length so that I can run a 76 inch 2x4 from left to right. Tie those both together, and that's what holds my tailgate up. And then I didn't know how to tie the tailgate to that board or to this board sitting by my butt crack. So down at the bottom, I think we just used some flat strap that I had laying around, just some regular strap. Oh, it was angle strapping. We straightened it out. Well, kind of. And then I took a couple of floor joists, hangers, and I cut a third of it off, and I bolted that to the existing 13 millimeter hex bolt on the side. Kind of bent that at an angle, tied it into this two by four cross brace. And then I made another piece of uh, wood angle that goes from this cross brace down to this back leg. So she's, she's good and sturdy. But before I screwed that cross piece in, kind of got the angle of this tailgate sitting the way I wanted. Because there's nothing I hate more than people who make these things and the base is flat and the tailgate is vertical and they're super uncomfortable. They look great, maybe, I don't know, I don't think so, but some people do. Uh, but yeah, you gotta get the angle right so that they're remotely comfortable. I mean, jeez people, ergonomics. And then armrests, who builds a lot of armrests? Where are you gonna sit your beer? In your lap? In between you so it spills? On the floor so the dog knocks it over? Yeah, you gotta have armrests. So yeah, like I said, 27 inches tall, 18 inch board right there. Um, it's 32 inches here, 62 inches across, uh, 76 inches for that back 2x4, 
And then instead of floor joists, we got this figured out. I call it plumber's tape, but it's that roll of tape, uh, metal tape that's got all the holes punched in it. That's what you need for tying the tailgate to the wood at the armrest, and then down here at the bottom. But make sure you get this angle right. And you gotta get an angle here. Nobody wants to sit flat. This one might be a little bit high. My feet are kind of barely touching the ground, but it's easy enough to shorten the legs up a little bit. But anyway, there you have it. Bunch of two by fours and a one by for the top. I guess you could use a two by for this as well, but this is what I had laying around. Gonna give her a quick pressure wash job. Call her good. Deliver her to uh, Mr. Longfellow for his birthday here in a few days. Hopefully he likes it. If he doesn't, I don't care. They won't ask me to build another one then. Now you know, I hate tailgate benches, and if you're gonna build one, do something like this. Don't build your plain Jane vertical upright back and then the level base. Ergonomics, kids. Pinterest. Show them how to do this stuff. Alright. Maybe I'll uh, show you a couple of my angle for dangle things. Oh, and then inch and five eighths torque screws for the armrests and then three inch for the rest. Two and a half would probably be ideal, but three inch is what I had, so I had to a couple off because they were going to stab a guy. You don't want that. Keep it safe. If you really want to get crazy, you can drill in a couple of cup holders or radius these edges. I don't know. Good enough for what it's for. Sorry, Ted. All right. I'll give you a quick uh, tour of what I got going on here. Maybe a little walk around. Show you what I did. What I changed. Ah, we did it perfect. Didn't we? So here's a side view of how I started. I cut this board at 27 inches because I figured that's where I want my elbow to be. So with the thickness of this one by, it's going to be a little bit taller than 27 inches. But I cut that 27 inches. Cut this board at 18 inches here. And then I laid it on the floor and I knew that I wanted it to be 19 inches high up at the front, 16 inches at, up high at the back. So I kind of laid it out, screwed it to this board. And then I stood it upright and then I ran a held it up with my floor jack and then once I got this level then I put this board up here laid it at an angle that I wanted so that I could get some stability laid a level across from front to back knew where to cut it there knew where to cut it at the bottom screwed those two together uh, and then I added this used those two boards there those two uprights to mark off so I cut it off flush there and cut it off flush back there screwed that all together put my armrest on Screwed this 76 inch board across and then kind of did the same thing with this kicker right here. Cut it off with this angle, cut it off with that angle down there and that'll support that. And then like I said, that's a 76 inch 2x4 and these are 62 inches across, same width as the tailgate. You could notch these for the tailgate if you wanted the armrest to sit in flush. I don't know why you'd do that for aesthetics and to make more work for yourself to make it even more miserable project. So this is how the tailgate is tied onto the actual bench. This is a floor joist hanger that I cut one of these legs off and then I used the existing hole to bolt it to one of the latch holes and then I screwed it to this upright. That's why I say in this plumber tape stuff. I don't know what the name for it. I call it plumber's tape. Oh, we found some since then. I think they call it plumber's tape. If you look it up on Amazon, I found some after I was done here, but that's what I would do. Take a roll of this stuff, screw that to the tailgate, straighten her out, screw her down there. That's the stuff you need next time, folks. But floor joist hanger will work if you got one laying around. And then down here at the bottom, plumber's tape would have, again would have worked good. This was just like a shelf bracket. And then a couple of self tappers ran into the bottom of the tailgate. A couple of torques ran into the bottom of the bench. Again, leave all that loose until you can sit in it and adjust the angle that you want it to sit at. I don't know what degrees that's at, like 16 and a quarter. We'll just call it that. Same thing on this side, nothing too crazy. Like I said, this is like a one by six tongue and groove. Uh, the external groove I left on the outside on both sides. Just because I figured if you rubbed on that too much on the inside, it'd break off or dig into your thigh, whatever. Yeah, turned out all right, I think.
tried to hide as many of these fresh cuts as I could. Again, it needs a pressure washing, but it'll work for Mr. Longfellow. Hopefully. She's good and solid. Real stout. And then, uh, like I said, it's 16 inches at the back, 19 inches at the front, for height wise on here. And I'm about six foot one, so you could probably make it a little bit shorter than that. I'll let you know, check back after we've got a few miles on her. No, I'm not gonna build one for myself, nor will I build one for you, so don't ask. But I figured I'd show you how to do your own. Maybe there's videos out there, but I didn't look. We just winged it. Thanks for watching my tailgate tutorial. Click like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. I appreciate it. And remember, doesn't matter how you get it done, just as long as you're having fun. Right, Duff? Tailgate benches are dumb, not fun.